All right, check out this little tiny CD player by Denon. It's a model DCD-F101. Looks like a pretty full featured CD player. Has a digital optical output, the regular analog output, manufactured in September of 2002. So this thing is 19 years old right now. So I haven't even powered it up. I don't know what it's doing, but I'm gonna pop the top off first and just do a visual inspection to see if I see anything out of sorts. Well, looking at it from the top, it's just a pretty simple CD player, power transformer, power supply board, and it looks like all of the signal processing is done over here on this board. So let's go ahead and power it up and see if even the drawer opens or closes. All right, there we go, power on. I do get a red power indicator. I'll hit the power light. Ooh, and I hear a motor just non-stop spinning. Well, that leads me to believe we got a broken belt somewhere. And in their infinite wisdom, one of the mounting screws is right here, but I can't really get a screwdriver into it because when I lay it down flat, the drawer is over the top of it. Same thing on that side, the mounting screw is there, but you really can't get access to it. So on some of these units, there's a little secret slider or gear you can turn to get the drawer open. Let's see if this one has it. I see a slot right there. So let's go ahead and try to get a screwdriver in that slot and move it one way or the other and see if it will allow access to the drawer. There it is. The drawer has popped open. So I went ahead and popped off the front panel and on some of these units, they have these tabs right here that will allow you to remove the drawer once it's fully extended. So let's see if I can finagle this thing one way or the other. And there we go, the drawer's out of the way. There's the belt that came off right there. So my guess is that if I just lift this gear off, it'll come right out of the way and I can lift up this belt, which is probably gonna be very nasty and gooey, possibly. Very, very slow response. The belt should snap back instantaneously. It shouldn't take time like that. Well, let's go ahead and see if I have a replacement belt for it. So I've got basically just a grab bag of belts here that I've been collecting for years and years. So let's go ahead and see if I've got one that seems close. Probably gonna be one of these smaller guys right there. So there is the original belt. And so I'm thinking I want to go a little bit smaller. So one of these two is probably going to be the right size. So I went ahead and I went with the one that's the original. I went with the one that's just ever so slightly smaller. And so I'm gonna go ahead and just peel it around the pulleys here. And I think that's gonna work absolutely perfectly. But before I do that, I'm gonna add a drop of oil to the motor shaft and I'm gonna clean the new belt and I'm gonna clean the pulley surfaces where the belt runs. So just a little droplet of oil to lubricate the bushing right there. And then look how dirty it is in that pulley. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a cotton swab and some acetone, and we'll go ahead and we'll clean up both of those pulleys. So the first thing I wanna do is do a test on this pulley just to make sure the acetone is not gonna eat it. So I'm just gonna rub it around, and if this comes up black, which it did not, then I know we're safe to go ahead and clean it with acetone. Next, I just want to go ahead and clean the new belt just to get any contaminants off of it because it is a new old stock part that may have been sitting for 15, 20, 30 years. So I've got a paper towel moistened with acetone. I'm just going to drag the belt through it gently. I'm not going to pull it too terribly hard to actually destroy the belt. I think that should be good. Let's go ahead and pop the new belt on it, put the tray back in it. And I do want to service the optical pickup. Go ahead and give that a cleaning. And I think I want to go ahead and add a droplet of oil to the turntable as well. So now that the oil has had time to soak, I'm just going to go ahead and stick the end of the cotton swab down here and kind of sop up any extra oil so it does not migrate. There we go, new belt's on. All the twists are out as I ran it around a little bit.
All right, turntable bushing is lubed. Now we can go ahead and put this thing back together. All right, reassembly should be a breeze. Just make sure that this slider is all the way over to the right. That allows the motor to run freely to move the tray in and out. If you were to move this thing over to the left, then it will actually begin to lift up the loading mechanism. So on reassembly, you want this slid over to the right. Slide the tray in, you should hear a couple clicks. And then it should just close seamlessly just like that. Next, I wanna go ahead and clean the optical pickup, but before I do that, I'm gonna power the unit up and make sure the tray opens and closes correctly. Okay, front panel is reinstalled. I just need to go ahead and put on the little door trim piece. And that's done just by holding it down until it clicks into place. Now we'll go ahead and power the unit up. If everything is well in the world, the drawer should try to close and it should try to clamp the disc immediately upon power up. And it did, absolutely perfect. So let's go ahead and open the drawer once again, make sure it does open correctly. And it's great. I'm gonna go ahead and roll the laser out after I turn the power off. And we can gain access to it and go ahead and clean it. And I'm just gonna take a wild stab at it and say this thing probably is in need of a cleaning. I'm just gonna get a can of compressor and try to blast some of it away real quick. A definite difference already. So let's go ahead and get the cotton swab and the regular household glass cleaner, nothing with ammonia because ammonia will strip the optical coating from the lens and you really don't want that to happen. It has a anti-reflective coating on the lens. So I have my cotton swab just moistened with household glass cleaner and I'm just gonna apply very light pressure to the lens itself. I'm gonna clean in a circular motion while rotating the cotton swab at the same time, I'm gonna go ahead and switch to the dry end and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna clean in a circular motion while I rotate the cotton swab. Don't apply too much pressure, just very, very gentle downward force. All right, looks much, much better. Well, next thing is just to try and see if it's gonna play a disc or not. Okay, so I do have a disc of copyright free audio loaded up into this unit. So let's see if it's gonna read the table of contents. And it did, it tells me it has 18 tracks on this unit. So let's go ahead and hit play. Now the first track has a pretty long intro. And there it is. Let's go ahead and skip to the very last track, which is track 18. and it's playing absolutely perfectly. And that's it, the repair on the Denon Compact Compact Disc Player DCD-F101. I certainly hope you enjoy the repair on the Denon CD player, just replacing a belt and some regular maintenance items and cleaning the optical pickup. Go ahead and leave me a question, a comment, a concern down below, good or bad. I try to respond to the comments when I have time. While you're down there, hit that subscribe button and like this video it really does help my channel grow. You can follow me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, at NorCal715. You can email me, norcal715videos at gmail.com. That is the best way to contact me. Please be patient. I do have a full-time job, and I do this in my spare time. Remember, with your help, we can try to keep these things out of the landfill, out of the recycle bin, and out of the e-waste facility. Everybody, thank you for making it to the end of this video. I really do appreciate it. Everyone have a great day. Once again, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.